Imagine a world where millions longed for a child but faced only silence from science. Then came 1978. A Cambridge physiologist dared to defy biology. And the impossible? It was fertilized in a petri dish. Welcome to the IVF revolution. Welcome to the miracle with Easy Physiology and Research Pro with the second session of Nobel Prizes in Medicine and Physiology. Before 1978, infertility wasn't just a diagnosis. It was a life sentence. 10 to 15 percent of couples had no treatment, no hope. Women were blamed, men were quiet, stigma was loud, medicine, helpless, until one man said, not anymore. Meet Robert G. Edwards, a scientist who didn't just study cells, he studied sorrow. Partnered with laparoscopy expert Patrick Stepto, they challenged nature, religion, and academia. Funding denied, critics loud, but determination? Louder. July 25, 1978 History Made. 5 pounds, 12 ounces of pure history. Louise Joy Brown was born. The first test tube baby. Her mother, Leslie Brown, had blocked fallopian tubes. But science found a new route to life. And the world's first IVF success? It shut the critics up real quick. From ridicule to recognition, Edwards began IVF work in the 60s. Laughed at, rejected, dismissed. But in 2010, the Nobel Prize in Medicine said it loud and clear, you were right. You were always right. That one baby became 8 million. IVF laws? Now in over 60 countries. What was once a miracle is now a medical standard. And yes, science gave parenthood back to millions. From playing God to saving dreams, 1970s, religious outrage. Unnatural, sinful, 1990s. IVF got its receipts, success rates skyrocketed. Today, recognized as essential by WHO. Oh, how the tables turn. IVF unlocked more than just conception. Intracytoplasmic sperm injection gave hope to male infertility. Genetic screening stopped hereditary disease before life even began. Surrogacy, egg freezing, embryo adoption. The family got redefined, and science smiled. This isn't just about test tubes and microscopes. It's about tears turned into tiny toes. IVF didn't just create babies. It created belief. When science meets compassion, miracles happen. Share this with someone whose life began with a miracle. Join Easy Physiology and Research Pro every Sunday for the motivating sparks on Nobel Prizes in Medicine and Physiology. And please, do not forget to subscribe our channel.